You're not going to believe this. At 1221 in the morning, out of nowhere, I felt a tap on my right upper arm. And I was like, what was that? And Yeshua spoke to me in that still small voice and said, open your Bible. I want to give you and your subscribers a word. So I grabbed my Bible, my King James Version Bible, and he opened me to Daniel chapter 2. Okay? And I know that Daniel chapter 2 is highly prophetic because it talks about the statue that Nebuchadnezzar dreamed about. And it was a highly prophetic dream. And so I'm going to read the scripture verses about the statue that was given to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, um, back when it was during the time of when Solomon's temple was destroyed and the 70 years of exile transpired from 586 BC all the way to 70 years later. Okay. And, um, with a focus on verse 33, it says, Thou, O king, which is Nebuchadnezzar, sawest and behold a great image. This great image, whose brightness was excellent, stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. This image's head was of fine gold, okay, his breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thighs of brass, his legs of iron, his feet part iron and part clay. Okay? And um, in verse 34, Daniel writes, Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and break them to pieces. Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver and the gold broken to pieces together and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors and the wind carried them away that no place was found for them and the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. This is the dream and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Thou, O king, art a king of kings, for the Elohim of heaven hath given thee a kingdom, power, and strength, and glory. And wheresoever the children of men dwell, the beasts of the field, and the fowls of the heaven, hath he given into thine hand, and hath made thee ruler over them all. Thou art this head of gold, and after thee shall arise another kingdom, inferior to thee, and another third kingdom of brass, which shall bear rule over all the earth. Okay? And the fourth kingdom shall be as, shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things. And as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. And as the toes of the feet were part iron and part clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. Whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. And in the days of these kings shall the Elohim of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. This is when Yeshua HaMashiach, the King of Kings of Revelation 19.16, and his queen of Psalm 45, 9 and 13, will reign for a thousand years and forever after the judgment seat of Mashiach. Okay? They will reign forever. 
Okay, that's Daniel 2.44. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold, the great Elohim hath made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter, and the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof sure. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and worshipped Daniel and commanded that they should offer an oblation and sweet odors unto him. The king answered unto Daniel and said, Of a truth it is that your Elohim is a God of gods and a Lord of kings and a revealer of secrets, seeing thou couldst reveal the secret. Then the king made Daniel a great man and gave him many great gifts and made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon and chief of the governors over all the wise men of Babylon. Then Daniel requested of the king, and he set Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego over the affairs of the province of Babylon. But Daniel sat in the gate of the king. Now, to point out Daniel 2.44, okay, we know that two are better than one, according to Ecclesiastes. Yeshua is the king of kings, and his kingdom will last forever. He will have a queen, fulfilling Psalm 45, 9. Okay, Matthew is the 40th book of the Bible. Mark is the 41st. Luke is the 42nd. John um, is the 43rd. And Acts is the 44th. Okay, the reason why I say this is because Acts chapter 2, Luke writes that there would be signs. Okay, now Daniel chapter 2 is the 852nd chapter of the KJV Bible. According to Strong's Hebrew Concordance for 852, it means signs and wonders, and it points to the Revelation 12 sign that occurred um, in 2017, okay? Um, because we know that on the 3rd of Tishri at 5778, which would have been on September 23rd of 2017, Virgo was clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet, and she was crowned um, with 12 stars, okay, nine stars and three planets, okay? This was a sign, a wonder, according to Revelation 12, okay? And we know that in Daniel 2.33, these represent ages or empires, um, the legs of the statue were of iron. The f um, feet were part iron and part clay. Um, and this is after um, the image's head was shown to Nebuchadnezzar of fine gold. His breast and arms were of silver, his belly and his thighs of brass, legs of iron, and feet part iron and part clay. Now, what this means, the head represents the Babylonian Empire from 612 to 539 BC. The breast and the arms represent the Medo-Persian Empire from 539 to 331 BC. The belly and the thighs represent the Greek Empire from 331 to 168 BC. And then the Roman Empire um, is from 168 BC to 476, that's the iron legs. So the head is the Babylonian Empire the breast and the arms, the Medo-Persian Empire, the belly and the thighs, the Greek Empire, and the Roman Empire is the iron legs from 168 BC to 476 AD. And then the clay and iron feet are from 476, B, or 476 AD to 2022 AD or until the very end of the Age of Grace. Well, Right when he tapped my right arm at 1221 in the morning, Eastern time zone, okay, he put on my heart, I want to give you and your subscribers a sign that I am soon coming back. Then I grabbed my King James Version Bible, um, and right when I had my thumbs on the pages, allowing him to put my thumbs where he wants them, he tapped my left arm 
three and four times letting me know that it was him that was about to open me to a page. He could have opened me to any page, but he opened me to Daniel 2, 31 through 34. This is no joke. Now, um, from Daniel chapter 2 to Revelation chapter 12, speaking of the Revelation 12 sign that occurred in 2017, um, 328 inclusive chapters, okay? Now, 328, according to Strong's Greek Concordance, means to gird up, as mentioned in 1 Peter 1.13. 1 Peter 1.13 through 21. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect of persons judgeth, according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by the tradition of your fathers, but with the precious blood of Mashiach, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifested in these last times for you, who by him do believe in Elohim, that raised him from the dead and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in Elohim, the blessed hope. Titus 2.13, the 6,777th verse of the New Testament from Matthew 1.1. 1, 1. We know the five wise virgins who do go out to meet the groom and the bride. Um, they really are meek. Matthew 5.5 5 to Matthew 25.7, 7, 777 inclusive verses. Okay, Matthew 25, 1, original Aramaic version, uh, the five wise do go out to meet the groom and the one woman bride. Okay, and the bride is represented by three sevens in Revelation 21, 9. Okay, so yeah, 328, 328 inclusive chapters from Daniel chapter 2 to Revelation 12, because we know the Revelation 12 sign occurred on September 23 of 2017, which was the third of Tishri of 5778. Okay, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yeshua HaMashiach. What? This is not a joke. It's been years since I've received a sign like this. I remember back in 2012, my daughter and I were watching for a rapture in 2012 because that was a, a very prophetic year. You know, we know that the Obama administration in 2013, uh, they visited the Church of the Nativity, um, which was where Jesus was born approximately in 3 B.C., um, during the Feast of Tabernacles, they visited the, the actual spot in that church where Jesus' manger was supposed to have sat, okay? That was on March 22nd of 2013, just days after Francis was elected on March 13 of 2013, okay? And so um, we, we know that 2012 was a very prophetic um, year, too. There, there was a lot of prophetic events going on. Um, we know that somehow the Mayan calendar ended a cycle, which we didn't think of it as doomsday, but we knew that it ended some kind of cycle within the Mayan calendar, okay? And when my daughter and I walked into a grocery store in 2012, immediately Natasha Bedingfield's um, song came on the split second we walked in the very beginning of the song came on just a second after we walked in the sliding doors of the grocery store um and she sings take me away a sweet escape okay a pocket of, of sunshine came on and we knew that it was from yeshua hamashiach because we had holy spirit goosebumps all over us well it's been years since we've received a sign like this years 
I mean, and then at 1221, he taps my right arm, okay? Then I grab my Bible, you know, in obedience to him. He taps my left arm four times and then opens me to Daniel chapter 2. Putting on my heart, we're at the very end of the age of grace, at the very end of the clay and iron feed Daniel the prophet prophesied about. What? You got to be kidding me. We're going to fly soon. And I mean very soon. Shalom.